Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, I want to go in and introduce you guys to the Future Proof Email Development Course. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go over what exactly is email development, why you should care about it, how much you could actually earn, and on top of that, what's the future that you're going to have following this career path. So let's get started. Now, email development is what I consider an entry level position into the tech field. So a lot of you guys probably have heard of HTML, CSS, or maybe you haven't. And this is probably your first time even hearing those languages. But basically, these are the entry points to web development. Now, what's really cool about this is that you can learn the skills fairly quickly. And again, you can go in into email development in as quickly as a month and a half to two months. Okay. So if you're interested in this type of field and getting into the tech industry, this is a great way for you guys to get started. So again, right. It's the significance of email development and digital marketing. Now, email development is essential for creating effective communication channels with customers and ensuring that the emails are not only visually appealing, but also functional across a variety of devices and email clients. Now, think about it like this. I'm pretty sure you guys have received emails from companies, either from Home Depot, Best Buy, Nike, Apple, and usually they email you two to three times a week. And the reason that they're emailing you is because they want you to buy the products, right? I mean, emails is the best way to get to a consumer directly. Back in the days, you would just go in and receive mail on your house, or you might see something on the yellow book, right? Or the yellow pages, however they call it nowadays, right? And basically you will see like different products and services there, but now with email, they could just send it to you directly. So they could update you on the new products. They can go and tell you some cool stuff that's happening in their community. And they could even send you a receipt of the product that you purchased before. Now, our job consists of making sure that these emails look good in every single type of service that's out there. For example, Gmail for iOS, Gmail for Android, Gmail on a browser, Microsoft Outlook, Yahoo Mail, AOL Mail. Yes, you be surprised. There's still people using AOL Mail. And guess what? Our job is to make sure that when we have a design, it looks good in every platform. And again, we might even set up the automations of who actually receives all of these emails. In this course, we're going to be focusing on creating the emails themselves. So let's go in and go to the next stage. In here, we're going to talk about the salary. I'm pretty sure some of you guys are wondering, like, is this thing even worth my time? Okay. I can tell you right now, like at the lowest, lowest role that you can go in and get paid, is a 55 to 70 thousand dollars this is for people who are just complete beginners have never done this before and imagine this this is a skill that you could learn in a month to two months and be able to be making 50 to 70 thousand dollars i mean there's people that go to school for four years and don't make that okay now let's go in here mid-level would say 75 to 95 now i do want to go in and mention to you guys that most of the students at codingphase.com they make from 65 to 85k starting even though this is what you know nationally the entry level positions will be 55 to 70 most of our students start from 65 to 85 thousand dollars this is what's considered a mid-level salary which is 75 to 95 you also have a senior level which is mean that you have been doing this for a year two years you could even get 100 to 120 thousand and sometimes even more now of course you could always freelance there's nothing stopping you from not only making money full time on your job but also to start making money on the side i want to let you guys know that yes this is a high demand skilled that also has a lot of potential for your career and what's really cool about it is that not a lot of people is doing this not a lot of people have even thought about doing this because you know we get sold on this idea of hey you have to be a full stack every boot camp goes in and tells you you got to learn the Mern stack or you know learn python and that's the first thing that they introduce you into the tech industry but in reality there's a lot of different ways that you could get in and i don't know about you I'd rather go in and say, well, it took me a month to two months to learn a skill and I was able to get a job than me saying, well, I had to go in, learn a skill that took me a year or more. And then maybe at that point, somebody will give me a job. Like 
You get what I'm saying? For me, email development has always been good because of that. I'm the type of person that I like to make things easy for myself. I don't know about you. There's a lot of growth when it comes to email development. There's things that you're going to be exposed to, services, platforms, right? Skills that you've never heard of before, never learned before, and you're going to learn it within the job. And this is what's going to allow you to continue to grow within this career. You get started at $65,000, $85,000. That doesn't mean that you're capped there. It's up to you how far you want to take it. As you continue to grow within this industry, you will be exposed to different roles that you can now apply to because you have experience of working in a team, working in the marketing department, working with code. So for example, you have email marketing managers, right? Automation specialists. This is the future guys. Automation, CRM manager, front end development and growth marketing all right so yes once you start here this is not your last stop this is just the beginning all right always remember you make more money the more years you have and more experience that you have and the more skills that you have so you should always want to continue to grow now i want to put an emphasis on this good emails generate income for companies our job is to go in and make sure that these emails look good in every platform because if it doesn't look good in outlook or it doesn't look good on ios or it doesn't look good on android they're actually missing out on customers that could maybe potentially convert into buying the services or continuing the services that they already have, right? So there's so many different things that come with emails, right? We want to sell to somebody. We want to continue having that person keep buying from us, right? And we want to update them on every sale and anything that's happening within these products, this company, so that way we could keep them engaged and always have them come back and give us money. And that's how businesses think. You should be thinking like that the same way because guess what? You're not going to be part of the industry too. So let's talk about the skills that you're going to learn inside of this course. We're going to go and focus on teaching you how to make responsive emails that just work in every single platform. This is the final course that you're ever going to need for HTML emails. This is going to teach you how to create fluid and responsive emails. We're also going to focus on ghost tables and we're going to learn about testing the emails and accessibility. And we are also even going to give you an introduction to AMP pretty much give you all the technical skills that you're going to need to be able to get your entry level job. Now I am going to mention this for anybody that's coming in and buying the course by itself. Understand this. There are some requirements for this course, right? Prerequisites. You're going to need to know how to use a computer. Okay. I can't teach you that. You should be able to do this, right? And be able to understand how your computer works, right? My job here is to actually teach you the skill, not to teach you your operating system. Now, the next thing is you should learn HTML, CSS. Now, if you haven't learned HTML, CSS, it's okay. The way I'm going to be teaching you guys this course, you're going to pretty much learn what you need from HTML, CSS and everything else that comes with email development. And of course, we're going to be teaching you guys how to use AI tools to help you generate the code for your emails. And now, of course, we're going to teach you what's under the hood so you guys can learn how to do it manually. But pretty much everything that we're going to learn here, we're going to also learn how to do it with AI much faster. So again, helping you become a future proof developer. Let's go in and let's start the course. Now, guys, if you want to take this course, it's very simple. Check out the links in the description. I have two links there, one for the diamond membership, which basically gives you access to all of the courses and access to me. So I could help you out in this process as you're going through the journey of becoming an email developer, or you could also go in and purchase the course by itself at an early bird price. Okay. Links is going to be in the description. Take advantage by the way, 50% off. Summer sale, it's almost over. That's it. September 1st, it's done. Finito. So if you've been wanting to come to Coding Face, this is the time. I'll see you guys later.